the mod I will be playing today is uh, Project Visionary by Gabriel YDM. This is the second test build for version 1.1, and uh, even though it's a test build, my sanity just got worse over time with how many chompers I had to deal with, because holy shit. Okay, uh, this is uh, Project Visionary, specifically a... Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this. Yeah, this is Project Visionary. We got the split screen menu. <laughs> uh, fun fact about the split screen menu Chomper uses 150 health, the Garn Warfare 1 value. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here we have a uh, Neo Squash from. Uh, Loads of variants. Here we have a, a honestly messed up model, I think. Uh, yeah, okay, we gotta fix that. And uh, here's this thing uh, seizure. Okay, Robo Zombie, Overgo. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through like. The new variants in the Hover Goat, Torchwood, as well as the new cl classes. Use four. <laughs> yeah, uh. Gabe, I think you have to remove the uh, glow wings from a uh, pea shooter's kit. Yeah. Alright, uh, future chrome bark. Fires lasers, which have splash damage. Doesn't give a lot, but. Oh, let's see what it does. Oh, I'm also using a Private Blade Remastered and the uh, Game of Insanity, both by uh, Breakfast Brains 2. Um, apparently Project Visionary just straight up replaces some of the uh, crazy sayings themselves. I can have Time Bomb Madness at the same time. Two time bomb madnesses and uh, two berserkers. Thing. Why is Squash here have a Mexican hat? Why is Spooky Squash here? Why is there a blue squash and why is there a stone squash or whatever the hell it is? I think Gabe is quickly becoming a uh, PopCap dev because uh, <laughs> there are some missing things here. Anyways, uh, yeah. Just gonna play the new variants in Hovergun Torchwood, as well as the new classes. Actually, I might as well just use a controller for this, because, like, I don't like using mouse and keyboard right now. Oh, it also has the Xbox One controls. Alright, future Chrome Bark. As you can see, the FPS didn't change at all. <laughs> hey, uh... Where... Where... Where's the rest of my team? Gabe, where's the rest of my team? Why is it a, uh... 12v16? Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. As you can see, I am totally goaded at this game. Oh, I think the mesh for this character is kind of messed up. Oh, uh... oh that. Oh, it's the uh, pre nerf version. This character is too much. Plus that. And once again, you see the code. He's kind of. Oh, sound, uh, sound issues, that's nice. That's just every all-star player. Hey, 
Hey guys, I killed a miner. Why the hell is it called Wizard Engineer? Uh, Gabe, you have to fix a uh, miner. Oh, I'm just gonna clean the house. Look how Ch Torchwood is just busted. Hover Go is just sensible. I am every Torchwood main in existence. I do not know how to play this character, to be honest. That is me. What the hell? Why, why does she have the uh, Sasquatch buff? Yeah, I think I've played this character enough. I have fun. Oh, that's a uh, enemy plan. Yeah, I think I've played this character enough. Alright, soul wool. Soul wood. Can extract the souls of his recently vanquished foes. Collecting the souls will give him progress towards the wizard realm. Alright. Uh. Oh, character upgrade. Oh, there it I literally just got home. Alright. Sting has no recoil. Oh, there. Sound bug. This thing has no recoil or spread. Bro, this is literally just soldier's primary b busted. Oh, that's the uh, goat thing. So, like, the game said about collecting souls from enemies. Where the soul's at? Does it have to be specific enemies, or is that currently not a thing? Oh, uh... Hey look guys, it's a uh, GigaGarg from Garn Warfare 1. I am playing online multiplayer. Oh, that's the thing. I'm literally just gonna cancel that so I can get this. Alright, that's a pre nerf one. Dead. I am dead. I am not dying to a miner. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Yes. I am in the uh, legendary mode. I do not know what the music is because I cannot hear crap if it even has music. Also, uh, Gabe, you should make a uh, separate soldier for the uh, plant goats. That way the nameplate isn't red. Alright, what is this? Alright, Sprint Smash. Okay, that's just... Uh, that one ability from loads of variants, I'm guessing this is a projectile. Yep, it is. Alright, I'm just gonna respawn. Okay, that's a bit delayed. Deletion, reanimation. <laughs> um, Gabe, I think you forgot to add the barrel to that pirate. I'm gonna be honest, this character is kind of weak. How much damage does the primary even do? If I can even find anyone. Okay, 19. 25, got it. So this character just relies on the ability spam. That's nice. that 
So this whole character, well, this whole class's gimmick is the abilities. Got it. You're dead. You are dead. I am also dead. I'm gonna be honest, if a class relies on their abilities, they're not that good of a class or a cozy squash. Spread the holiday spirit with the holiday spits to deal a lot of damage for direct hits. Alright, this seems more like Peacher with extra health and less speed. Okay, so it's just Berry P, but with slower fire rate if it does the same amount of damage. I'm not reviving that chomper. Nine from range, bruh. Okay, that is really high damage at point blank. This is pretty much just very. Oh, you also have to fix that game. Damn. Uh, uh, I hate ice and I hate the hypno effect. Yeah, the ice on the. Uh, character needs to be tweaked a bit. You can freeze you too fast for a fucking scientist variant. So what I've got so far is that only one of the squash characters are actually good at point blank and only one of them is actually good at all ranges. I mean that this class just relies on ability spam to begin with. Actually, it has projectiles uh, effects. That thing can send you far. So, like, you actually have to lob it. Thank you, Party Rose. Very cool. I love how you can just do that, but at the same time, it's really annoying. <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> yeah, that's literally just this class. It's just ability spam. Yeah, honestly, this class isn't that fun if you own ability spam. And I don't like ability spamming. We're in zombies. They're less very scoped. Bling goat, $3,000. Uh, Bling goat can attack plants at a range to ensure no way damages his drip. Vanquishing plants while also spawn a golden galling bot. Best goat variant in the game besides shit goat. Why are there s- Bruh, I just got a unicorn jump scared like twice. spawn in and I get unicorn jump scared twice. Why is he, why is Twilight Chomper here? He's not even in Legends of the Brawl. It's just advertised on it. I love it when I can't really uh use the gimmick properly because of the fact that all my kills get stolen. Bruh. Tried using the Gatling bot to save me, but apparently the hitbox is too small for goddamn goat. Lover goat 0214. Lover goat 0214's toxic relationship beam allows him to leave a lasting impression on all planes hit by his Oh, it's a toxic variant? Why doesn't it look 
look like one. Oh, there's the Disco Chomper. It is a toxic uh, variant, so why the hell doesn't it look like one? Of course! I just spawn into their spawn. This is why I hate this game. Honestly, mods are the only reason why I'm even playing this game anymore. This character is literally just shared vanquishes, I think. Nah, nah. I love it when I get gooped from behind. I'm starting to see a lot more PopCap moments in this mod alone than I have seen in uh, Walnut Hills. And this map has a lot of PopCap moments. Not a good sign. Please be it. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry, what? How did I die from that? Get freaking the uh, back chomp. That's <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, I have not been able to enjoy this game because uh, it's Walnut Hills. Why did I choose this map? This map sucks. Oh, that Robo Takeover mode was the point of the. Oh, you just you land and then you blow up. Yep. How? How do you live from that? Bruh, this character is not fun, to be honest. Why is everyone saying this character... Why is uh, Hyperion saying this character should have been playable? This character is not fun to play, even if you just use the base game stuff. Like, I'm gonna be honest, this character is lackluster as hell. You are not... What was that animation? Bro, what? <laughs> what the hell? What is that animation, PopCap? Right. Oh, great of the Xbox Game DVR to be delayed as usual. I am not getting Unicorn Chomper jump scared. I also feel like the DPS of the uh, ranged attack is too much. But like, I'm just missing all my shots because I'm bad at the game. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Bro, I hate Unicorn Chompers. That's literally just a ZP. Oh my. It's always a unicorn chomper. And why why are they always go specifically for me? Why is it always a unicorn chomper that just goes for me? It's literally Garden Warfare 2 multiplayer in a nutshell. You always get gooped from a random area. Yeah, I'm sorry, this character isn't fun. So instead I will just be uh subbing him. I'll just be using a, a freaking. Uh. I will be using Reanimator to fill him in because this 
Robo Zombie. He is not fun, and I do not think he's good. Oh, I got a mash. I got a mash controller. Of course, I get gooped to meet. Why two? Why two? All oh, my. Oh, those are my. Amazing game. How fucking fast I just... This is literally the Agent P of scientists. The fact that this character also has Splash. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Gabe. Like, this is... Either I just suck at the game, or this mod is just kind of unbalanced. Also, this mesh has a jumping issue. Honestly, this mod really isn't that fun. I, I really feel like the main point of this mod is just the fact that it adds new characters with models. Like, this is a test build, so like, I have to give it some lineage, cause, well, it is a test build. But like, if reanimators in uh, older builds that aren't test builds, then I really feel like uh, this mod isn't really going to be that fun with it. Alright, I'm done. I am done. I just got midder burrowed. Of course. I am fucking done.